Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways on how to design your own mock-up on Canva. These mock-ups can be used for product listings, like if you're opening your own Etsy shop, it can be used for social media graphics and website landing pages, and really anywhere you want to showcase a piece of information in more of a 3D space, just making it a little bit more visually interesting to look at. So why don't we head into my laptop now and let's create a mock-up together. All right, welcome to my laptop. I am right now logged into my Canva account. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I am just going to create a document. It really doesn't matter what size we're gonna do. I think I'm just gonna do a custom size of 2,500 by 1,500. So it doesn't really matter. Um, it just depends on what kind of graphic you're creating. If you are creating a mock-up with no background, then again, it doesn't really matter what the dimensions are. It just needs to be big enough of a file um, for whatever you're using it for. Um, okay, so for the first mock-up, we're gonna do a paper mock-up. So some sort of like PDF or a booklet that you're creating, an ebook. Um, a lead magnet, anything that's like a digital paper PDF of some sort that you want to mock up. Um, let's do that first. So <clears throat> first things first, I am going to find those documents. So I've uploaded a couple of documents here. Let's just go with these ones. So this is the new ebook um, template that I've created. Uh, in my shop available in my shop right now and um, these are digital documents so a lot of times I am creating these mock-ups um, in order to make it look more realistic it looks more visually appealing um, and I can put this on you know my product listing or on wherever I am advertising this product um, so right now I've kind of positioned it in a way where it looks good. Like usually I do like one of the front pages, like that's directly facing. Um, and then two other like accompanying ones on the sides and I kind of put them on an angle. So it looks kind of like it's scrambled a bit. You can definitely add more and then just kind of layer them a little bit. Um, but I think three looks good. Uh, next up, it looks a little bit flat right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go click on one of the images and we're gonna click on edit image. And then we're gonna go down to shadows and then we're gonna create a drop shadow. So if you don't see shadows, then definitely go down, make sure you've downloaded it first and then it'll show up in this section here. So I'm gonna click on drop and then immediately I created a drop shadow and it looks pretty good. I don't even need to do any adjusting. We're going to do the same thing for the rest of them. And there we go. So there's your first mock-up. Um, it looks really beautiful. We just want to make sure that we're adjusting uh, the image so that none of the shadows you see here is going past uh, the size of this, um, the size of this uh, canvas. So I'm actually going to put it in the middle here. At this point, you can actually export this if you want. If you want an image with no background and simply be able to put this on top of, let's say, your website or something or into another document, then go ahead and click on share and then download. <clears throat> Make sure to download as a PNG because that's the only file format that allows you to have no background. And then you have to click on transparent background. As you can see here, this is a premium Canva Pro feature. So make sure to have Canva Pro before you can do this specific download. Um, and if you need Canva Pro for free for 30 days, definitely head to my links below to get your free trial. Um, so you're going to click on transparent background. We're just going to download that. 
All right, so let's just open it and see what it looks like. Perfect, so as you can see, the background is grayed out. That just means nothing is there. Um, so now you can actually um, you know, place this on top of your um, website and make it really big or wherever you want to showcase this, um, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so another way of um, using this uh, mock-up is actually to put a background into it. So why don't we go into elements and I'm just going to look up like a desk image. I'm gonna go to photos and let's pick one that looks relatively um, realistic. I think this one looks pretty good and I'm actually going to put this in the background. Click and it kind of goes to the back. So I'm just going to copy all of them and then place them on top of the table as if it's, um, you know, sitting on top of the table. And there we go. It looks really, really nice like that. You can definitely play around with what kind of background you want to put. If you want even just a plain background like this one or something with just like a plain colored background, that's totally fine as well. Like for example, this one actually looks pretty nice as well. This one's not as realistic, I feel like, but because there's the books there, but you get the point. I think you can definitely play around with this. And this is mock-up number one with papers. All right, the next mock-up that we're going to do is a computer mock-up. So first off, we're going to find an image of a computer. Now you can do this two ways. You can either find one that's like, let's say like this one that has a background already. Um, and also has a computer. So I'm just gonna do both. Um, so uh, first example will be with the background. Okay, and then we can basically um, add a little placement holder here where we can put our image into it. So I'm gonna go to elements and go down to grids. And then the first one right here and just make sure to adjust the size of it and place it right on top of where the white is. There we go. So make sure to make it as even and center as possible. And now you can basically place anything in here. So you can either, let's say, take a screenshot of your computer, or if you wanna take a video of your computer or whatever you'd like, then you can plop it into here. What I do recommend though, is not to just straight up um, put in a graphic in there. Like let's say you want to showcase um, this again, instead of dragging this into here, like this is not really like, this doesn't make sense why like this is a laptop. So what you should be showing on this screenshot is a screenshot of your laptop. So it would make more sense to let's say, take a screenshot of this screen right now and then drag that into here. So for example, this run right here, is a screenshot of um, my Canva account. So I'm just gonna drag this down. And then this makes more sense as a mock-up because it is actually an image of what you would actually see <laughs> in a laptop. And then you can do the same with anything else. So like, let's say you wanna do a video, um, you can also head to the videos and um, for example, this is a video I created of a website I worked with. Uh, a client on um, and then this can be a way to um, showcase a website that you've created so I can totally see this as a, an Instagram post or reel or something to kind of showcase your work um, and then another way to do this is without the background so a lot of people might want just the computer without the background so I can do that as well I'm gonna delete that background there and what we're gonna need to look for is a laptop or a computer without a background. So for example, this one right here looks really good. It has like all the shadows and everything. So it looks really realistic. So I'm gonna put this in the center here and I'm gonna position this to the back so that this graphic can be in the front. And I'm just going to adjust the size of this uh, into the laptop space or the computer space. And there we go. Now we have a version of this that has no background. So same thing, you can go to download. And then when you're downloading this, you can download, if it's a video, then you can definitely download it as a video. But 
Unfortunately, you cannot download videos with no background, so you're gonna have to replace this with an image. So I'm just gonna replace this with this image right here. And then uh, let's download that as well. So I'm gonna go to download, go to PNG. Remember PNG is for no background. Go to transparent background, and then you're gonna click on the one that you want to download. All right, let's open it up. And there we go. So now we have a computer mock-up with no background. And again, you can use this on your website or wherever you can place this on top of, and it will look so, so realistic and so nice. All right, so that's two mock-ups for you. First, we have the paper mock-up, then we have the laptop mock-up. The last mock-up I wanna show you is a uh, a phone mock-up. So again, you can do this two ways. You can look for one that has a background already or you can look for one that doesn't. I'm just gonna focus the, on the one that doesn't. So I'm just going to elements here and I'm going to type in like phone um, or maybe iPhone. Okay, so we have some options here. Um, let me just see how these ones look. I actually um, think that for the iPhone mockups, it's actually best if you go into um, frames here and then go to see all. Just because the new iPhones these days, they are round. So you can't necessarily do this trick right here because um, when you create these placement holders, they have straight edges and you can't do round edges. So in order to make it possible, there is an iPhone mock-up here and I use this one often. You can definitely change out the colors of this iPhone too. So let's say you wanted to do like a light iPhone, um, like a white one, you can also do that. And obviously you need to change out the other colors as well. Um, so I can do that quickly to show you what that could look like. I like to do like gold um, for some of the accents just because um, the white iPhone had gold um, accents before. Um, all right, so let's just say this is my white iPhone mock-up. So now it's really easy because it already comes with a placement holder. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to open up whatever screenshot you want from your phone. So let's just say I want a screenshot of my, um, my Instagram feed. So I'm just gonna take a screenshot of it and then I'm going to send this photo over to, I'm gonna send this photo over to my laptop. It's really only realistic if you do this through your phone. Like, again, you don't want to just put any image right into this mockup because it doesn't really make sense. It looks best if you actually create um, a mockup that is that, that makes sense for the mockup environment. All right, so I am just uploading that photo now and then I'm just gonna drag it into this space. And as you can see now, um, we have my, my mock-up done. So this is my Instagram feed and it looks really beautiful. So all I'm gonna do again is I'm going to download it as a PNG, make sure it has transparent background and then choose the page that you want to download. And once it is downloaded, you can open it up just to make sure that everything looks good. And there we go, it looks really, really good. And that is three ways to create a mock-up. Now, if you really wanna get creative, you can actually um, like mix and match all of them together. Let's say you are creating um, like a course or something and you want a mock-up of um, a, a laptop version of it and an iPhone version of it. Maybe you can access it through all different ways. Um, maybe there's also a workbook that's included with it. So you wanna kind of just showcase all different things. Then you can basically kind of um, overlap these images and um, make them look like one mock-up. So just make sure that they are level and they kind of proportionally make sense. Um, what else do we have? We have our booklets. I'm gonna copy these over as well. I think around this size would make sense. And then I'm just gonna move them all over a little bit. So now we have a mock-up that has 
all three of the different mock-ups that we did together and it looks really good. I'm sure you can adjust it to make it look even better. Um, but this is an example of just mixing and matching all these mock-ups. Um, again, you can add a background to it. I think for this specific mock-up, it might look really good with a nice desk background. Again, maybe we can use this one right here. I think this one was the most minimalistic looking one. And there you go, that looks so good. Um, I would probably just make this like a little bit lower, but definitely adjust as you see fit. Um, and there we go, we have this beautiful mock-up. Again, obviously like you're gonna swap out these with whatever documents that you're creating or course that you're showcasing and um, make them all look like one big mock-up. All right, I hope that was helpful. All right, and that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. By the way, if you did really enjoy this tutorial, you're going to love my Skillshare class, Canva Basics Launch Your Creative Business. It's basically a three-hour course on Skillshare where I teach you all the basics of designing on Canva specifically for your business. I provide a ton of free templates, so be sure to head to the description below where I will leave you my 30-day free trial to basically take that class for free. So I cannot wait to see you in class. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>